Are you seeing settling happening on the exterior of your home? Bricks cracking, doors not opening right, things like that? In this video, I'm going to give you a permanent solution for repairing those issues. I'm Greg Backus, a project manager with AccuLevel. I've been in the foundation repair business for about four and a half years. Before that, I was in the appraisal trade, mostly managing appraisals, um, overseeing them for different clients and banks. Helical piers are a foundation support product, sort of like a screw that's driven deep down into the ground in order to find load-bearing soil to support your foundation. The depth of helical piers are determined by how far down the load-bearing soil is from the surface of the soil. On average, in Indianapolis, they'll go from 12 to 15 feet below the soil. In areas that are in Kentucky, it can be anywhere from 3 to 10 feet. It just depends on where you're located and what the ground beneath looks like. Cracks on the interior or exterior of a home may or may not close up when helical piers are installed. This is really dependent on how much the house will allow us to push back on. Sometimes they close up all the way to a hairline crack, other times they might not move at all. But either way they should be sealed. Helical piers can lift or stabilize depending on the preference of a customer. If there are improvements that were made before the helical piers were installed. Lifting the foundation back into place are going to make either A, those cracks reappear, or they're going to uh, make portions of the wall buckle because of uh, new framework, new drywall, uh, new door jams that were installed, or new windows that were installed uh, before the helical piers were installed. Um, so in that case, stabilization might be the best option uh, depending on what your preference is. If you're prepared to fix those cracks and those imperfections after the helical piers are installed, by all means, we can push as much as we can, but again, it's determined on by how much the house will allow us to push it back into place. We can't guarantee lift on any kind of structure. The helical piers come with a life of the structure warranty. This guarantees that they're not going to drop, they're not going to allow your foundation to slip ever again. This is transferable to any future owners of the home. Helical piers are turned into the ground separate from your foundation with a torque head. This torque head will turn the helical pier down deep enough in order to find that load-bearing soil. There's an equation that says when it takes this many pounds of torque to turn the helical pier, it can hold this many pounds of structure on top of it. We plan for four times the weight of your structure in order to uh, apply a safety load to your house in case a tree falls on it, you get heavy winds, or in case there's a heavy snow load that sits atop your roof. At that point, there's a bracket that goes underneath your foundation in the shape of an L and the foundation is notched out so that that bracket sits really snug up against the foundation. At this point we can either call the foundation stabilized or we can attempt to lift it as much as the foundation will allow us to. After the helical pier is secured to the foundation we'll backfill, tamper the soil down on top of it and that will be the completion of the pier. To install a helical pier on the exterior of a home, there will be about a three by three hole excavated next to the foundation. So if there's a bush in the way, or if there's a sidewalk in the way, you can plan for that portion to be removed. Sometimes the bushes can be put back into place and hope for life, but unfortunately, sometimes the bushes just have to be replaced. If a sidewalk needs to be replaced, we can remove the concrete and then pour concrete back in its place. The difference between push piers and helical piers are essentially the difference between a nail and a screw. When a push pier is installed, there's a cylinder that's bracketed to the broken footing of your home in order to force these piers down into place to find the tightest soil that it can. Unfortunately, with a push pier, you can only go as deep as the house will allow that pier to be pushed. The helical pier is installed independently of your home with a torque head. This will allow that pier to go as deep as it needs to in order to find that load-bearing soil. 
Once these piers are installed underneath the home, a screw is fastened into the soil, whereas a push pier is more hammered down into the soil. So the helical pier cannot slip as much, whereas the push pier, more weight is added to that home, whether a tree falling on it or heavy snow load or heavy wind load, that pier can start to slip over time. I hope this video provided you more education about helical piers, why they're needed. And if you need any more information, please click the link in the description below. If you like this video, like and subscribe.